First, you swallow these two things in the morning. So, so I can see these interesting things laid out. If you can explain <laughs> the significance of these and very interesting, these yellow and green balls. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> uh, one is a freshly ground neem ball, neem leaf ball. Another is okay. a turmeric ball. Okay. Turmeric we grow around here itself, which is absolutely organic in very rich lands. And neem, of course, it comes from the trees. These two things can do a miracle to your life. First, you swallow these two things in the morning, wait for ten, fifteen minutes so that it spreads. Because these two will bring down the inflammatory levels in your stomach lining and also cleans up all the unnecessary bacteria that may be there. In case of any parasite, all that it'll be taken care of. And uh, also, it brings a... It'll bring a certain glow to you. Don't ask me why I'm not glowing. <laughs> so, I've not eaten anything. You're supposed to have this empty stomach? Like yes, yes. Yeah? Empty stomach and some amount of water, not too much water, okay. so that it has enough water to spread. Okay. Now, right now what they kept is room temperature. Yeah. But uh, at home when you do it, you drink tepid water, not hot water. Just okay. Just one, one of each, is it? You can take uh, all the four. Yeah. Any warnings you want to give me? Neem is usually very bitter. No, no, you swallow it like a pill. That's not neem anyway, that's turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going a bit slow. <laughs> Just so, swallow, not with water. With water you can swallow, like a tablet. Okay, now neem. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm gonna have this. What else? I can also see there are some dry fruits. This is a... this is sprouted <laughs> methi, which is very important to bring cellular cleansing in the body. So you must chew this well till it becomes proper paste okay. in your mouth and then swallow it. Mm -hmm. And this is soaked groundnut, soaked for over six to eight hours. Okay. So, this soaking is very important. And uh, this is very high quality protein because these are organically grown groundnuts. See, the... Uh, what do you say, the hybrid or even <laughs> modified things will be this, this big nuts, they are not the thing to eat. These are original the way they are, the way they should be. Right. So, this will take care of that, your protein also. And there are many other enzymes in it which are very, very vital. There was a time when for months I just lived on just groundnut and one banana. For the entire day? The entire day. day. It, it has a, all the nourishment you need. And this is of course almonds, uh, this is a little... This is uh, for my international travel okay. because this is not a local thing here. Almond is not a local thing. They are growing but uh, not very popular. That's a... again a walnut which is, you know, the benefits of the nuts. Yes. This is sprout... <laughs> sprouted green gram which is a very high protein again. Okay. And the green part of it is very important. Okay. And it's very important the almond is soaked and this is peeled. Because these kind of nuts have their own mechanism of self-defense. The moment you soak it in water, now uh, the seed believes that it's going to be planted. We're going to disappoint him, but it believes that it's going to be planted and he's going to sprout and become a big tree and he's got his own dreams. So when you sprout, what he does is, there is a certain carcinogenic chemical within the uh, nut, mm. which comes to the surface, just beneath the skin. Okay. So that insects will not eat him up, worms and insects will not attack at that time. So you soak it to give him a feeling that he's going to grow and then peel it off, then you will see that carcinogenic is gone. Otherwise, when you eat uh, an almond, you are eating that carcinogenic part without knowing that you're consuming it. <laughs>